Hey guys, what's up? I am here with a review. Now, I may sound a bit, uh, tired, but that's because, uh, well, I just woke up. <laughs> it's actually, like, around 7 in the morning right now, and, uh, I have to work today, and I'm not going to the screening of this movie until tonight, but I figured I'd record this and edit it, get it out of the way, just so I could have it ready. But, tonight's review is of a film from 2016, a horror found footage film, and sequel to probably one of the greatest found footage films ever made. It is The Blair Witch. Now, just a little background. Adam Wingard, the director of Your Next, is directing this film. I like Adam Wingard. I'm not going to say I absolutely love him. But, out of what I've seen from him, actually, I would say I love him out of what I've seen from him. One of my favorite movies, uh, one of my favorite modern slasher films is Your Next. It, uh, I personally think it's an absolutely just amazing, amazing movie. And he did a segment in the first two VHS movies, which both of those segments were very good. Uh, he also did a movie in 2009, I think, called A Horrible Way to Die, which was also a very, very solid uh, movie. It was shot weird, but it's but it it is it isn't um, like terribly shot. The way it's shot, it almost feels like amateuristic by accident, but it almost gives it kind of a voyeuristic feel. Uh, but when I heard he was making this very atmospheric, creepy movie about people going into the woods and some really crazy shit happening to him, um, uh, the, the, the film was originally titled The Woods, and I heard about it, I saw ads for it, and I'm like, okay, Adam Wingard and the, the director chair, early reviews are saying this movie's uh, like really horrifying, well, I'm gonna go see this. And then at Comic-Con... I think it was at San Diego Comic Con, they did a screening and revealed, oh yeah, this actually isn't a, a movie called The Woods, this is actually a secret uh, sequel to The Blair Witch Project we've been working on all this time, we just haven't told you about it, and uh, it was getting to the point where I was starting to think, maybe we're not going to get a sequel to The Blair Witch Project, uh, or, or at least another sequel to The Blair Witch Project. I will be honest, I like the original Blair Witch Project, I do think it's a very atmospheric, very creepy little movie, but I don't think it's like the, the greatest horror movie ever, I do think it, it's, it is a little overblown in that regard, but I still really like it, and even the sequel, which is absolutely terrible, I like. Um, I know that there is a director's cut version that isn't available on DVD, I'm gonna have to look into that. I've heard that version is a lot better than the version that is on DVD, so I will uh, eventually have to see that one, but honestly, uh, I like the first two Blair Witch movies. Uh, the first one is de is definitely a classic horror film, in my, in my personal opinion. I think it's a very, very creepy uh, movie. Now, here we have a fantastic director who has worked on found footage films before. He knows how to make good ones. And he is making a sequel to probably one of the greatest found footage films ever made. Um, I don't know how this is going to turn out, because I'm not a super big fan of found footage movies, I'll be honest. Uh, there are a lot of them nowadays. I mean, the found footage wave has kind of died off recently. And we've kind of started to just focus more on just straight up supernatural horror in the at least in the mainstream community. And I've seen my fair share of very good found footage movies. I've seen the original Blair Witch, I've seen VHS. I have seen um like Cannibal Holocaust. I, I I've seen them. But I've also seen my fair share of bad ones like VHS Viral and an Amber Alert. And the Devil's Pass, even though the Devil's Pass wasn't that bad, it was still pretty bad. It was, it was literally the Blair Witch set in like some fuck, some like Russian mountains or something. Um, but 
this film basically follows the brother of more of the uh, of, of the uh, girl who was part of the documentary from crew in the first film who went missing and the footage has been you know the footage is out there the, they, they, she's been confirmed missing they haven't really they didn't really haven't really found her body and apparently somebody uploads a video onto YouTube and he sees it and he thinks that he sees his sister and it's in the original house where the first Blair Witch movie ended so they decide him and somebody who's making a documentary about him are decide about about the brother of the girl who went missing uh, decide let's go into the woods and try and find um, and try and find out what the hell is going on now I'm hoping for this movie to be good I have high hopes I just watched a bit of the review from Good Bad Flicks and I am a little shaken by what uh, he had to say about the movie but I am not going to let somebody else's opinion bother me that much I mean I have had different opinions from reviewers before I'm hoping that I can enjoy this movie and I'm hoping that I will get something out of it and I hope that it will actually be at least somewhat creepy. But, anyway guys, without further ado, at least, um, at least more than 12 hours from now, uh, let's check out the, let's check out, uh, Adam Wingard's Blair Witch. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm back. Uh, it's been over 12 hours. I got back from the screening, and uh, Jesus, I gotta say, if there could be an alternate title for this movie, it would be the You Are Doing Me a Big Frighten, the movie. That's a joke, but legitimately this movie is pretty, pretty creepy at times. Um, basically... Uh, I already explained the plot, and the plot is basically as I kind of explained it. Uh, there's just something I gotta, there's just some other things I gotta talk about. Um, first of all, the acting in the film. The acting is, it ranges from terrible to pretty good. Um, but that's how it is. ranges from pretty good to terrible, but that's uh, pretty much how it is with almost every found footage movie. Uh, the writing, which this film was written by Simon Barrett, who uh, helped uh, write and helped create Your Next, the writing is pretty good. Um, the big things I gotta comment on in this film are the characters, which, uh, I mean, I heard that the characters were all completely unlikable and you almost want them all to die, and honestly, they're not the most likable characters, but there are a couple of them you kind of want to survive and make it through this. Um, there are definitely a lot of kids, there are definitely quite a few characters who are just absolutely just the worst kind of characters. Um, for example, there's a character, Peter, who all he does, now this is a bit of an, that's just, this is an extreme exaggeration, but what he does throughout the movie is basically, he's like, oh, he basically interrupts people as they're telling the stories about the Blair Witch and stuff and saying, oh, this is just a crock of bullshit, none of this ever happened, the Blair Witch isn't real, blah, 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 saying this stuff very much out loud in the woods and uh, even at night uh, when, when you know, in the first film, that was when the witch was active, when it was at night. But basically, they get lost in the woods and some stuff happens and basically it kind of pulls a grave encounters on you where it starts to get really surreal and it's still dark outside even though it's like 7 even though it's like 7 a.m. you know it, it it pulls that kind of stuff on you and it's kind of surreal and creepy and almost twilight zone esque and i honestly really really dig that about the movie 
really, if I had any complaints about the movie, like from a technical standpoint, it's pretty well made. It's not the best found footage movie ever. It's no Cannibal Holocaust. It's no original uh, Blair Witch Project. But for a sequel, it's pretty good. And considering that I read quite a few places that this movie was literally just a rehash of the first one, the only ways it's a rehash is it's about people going out into the woods to look for the Blair Witch and or look for something or look for answers as to why people disappeared, why people are disappearing in the woods. And it ends at the, at the house, just like in the original does. Other than that, it is pretty much different. I mean, stuff happens at night, yes. There's still the stick people, there's still the rock formations that show up. But other than that, it is pretty different. Um, I mean, this movie uh, definitely plays with a lot of, not a lot of, but uh, quite a few uh, basic human fears. Uh, basically, fear of uh, the dark, fear of, like haunted houses or abandoned houses, abandoned places, um, kind of fear of the woods, claustrophobia, and it even has some body horror elements in there, which is pretty cool. I did not expect that. But overall, I could definitely say this movie is actually pretty, pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It's not Omega, it's not like as creepy as the original Blair Witch Project. It tries the music in the film, which was also done by Adam Wingard, the director, is phenomenal, and it really helps set the mood. It has some genuine tension at times, and unlike in um, The Conjuring, where it had good atmosphere, but the jump scares ruined it, and this one, the jump scares did not absolutely ruin it for me, at least for me personally. Uh, I mean, everybody I saw it with, they all thought it was good. They all thought it was tense. Honestly, I had chills during multiple scenes. I jumped a couple times. There are There's an abundance of jump scares in this movie, and honestly, at this point, I can kind of look past it, A, because it's Adam Wingard, and B, because I already heard there were jump scares in it, and I figured that there would be, considering this is a film made for a mainstream audience. Basically, it is a higher-budget kind of... It's a higher budget version of the original, with a bigger cast, and uh, some pretty good writing, and some pretty good effects. I mean, there are moments, like, for example, there's a moment where a character's climbing up a tree, and it is so dark that you can only see the tree, and it is almost as if, and it, and it is almost as if nothing in that scene exists but that tree, and it gives a feeling of just absolute isolation and claustrophobia, at least for me personally. I might not be claustrophobic, but um, I do kind of have a fear of isolated places, kind of, sort of, and it really played on that. Uh, is it the scariest movie ever? No. Um, it, all the ads that claim, and all the reviewers that claim that this is like going to be a modern classic, it's not going to be, it's really good, I would say, it's pr not really good, but pretty good, I would say. It's definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of the series. You just don't go and expecting something like the original Blair Witch, or you will be sorely, sorely disappointed. Um, other than that, all I gotta say is that what there was of uh, digital effects, if there were any, they all looked fine. Uh, what there was of uh, visual effects, uh, you know, puppeteer, if there's any puppeteering or any kind of gore, uh, that looked fine. Um, really, I almost have no complaints about the movie other than a couple of the characters, and, uh, honestly, it's mainly a couple of the characters and how the film was kind of edited. Because it does that thing that a lot of found footage movies do, where if it, like, switches to another camera, it'll do that loud, like, buzzing, kind of crackling sound between it and the, and the flat, throw some, like, glitches and some static up on the screen real fast to try and get some scares out of people and that is something that happened in the movie way too often that that annoyed me quite a bit um there are the false jump scares where where, where somebody will just be like hey is there hey uh you know peter is that you is that you and then somebody will come up like hey what are you guys doing um you know and they'll be completely silent and sneak up on the person that is also absolute bullshit there uh th th those kinds of scares never work the only time I would ever think they actually work in a movie is in something like Creep, where the character is actually, where it's actually believable that the character would do something like that to somebody. But 
Um, overall, I thought it was pretty fun. I mean, it's nothing absolutely amazing, but considering what we have uh, out in theaters right now, horror-wise, which is, uh, I mean, we got Don't Breathe, which was, which is definitely a better film than Blair Witch. Um, you know, considering anything else that we have out, it's definitely uh, one to see. Like, if you've already seen Don't Breathe, I would say, and you want to see something different that's a horror film, then see this, I would say. It's not, again, it's nothing amazing, but it's good enough to uh, for me to enjoy. Um, it's definitely better than the first Blair Witch sequel, uh, Book of Shadows, Blair Witch 2. Uh, not, n nowhere near the level of, of just absolutely just horrifyingness, uh, and atmosphere and tension of the, of the first Blair Witch movie, but I will leave it like that. Um, I'm sure I've repeated myself, uh, multiple times, so I'm just gonna leave it here and, uh, leave that as it is, and I'm going to go ahead and give this film a 3 out of 5. Um, which would be a 6 out of 10. It is uh, definitely a very above average movie. Nothing absolutely amazing, but I personally really liked it, and uh, I kind of like the, the direction they went with the film. For me to talk about that direction would be for, would be for me to spoil it, and I really don't want to keep recording, and I really don't want to spoil it at all. So, I'm just going to leave it there. Anyway, guys, this is Biscuboo Horror Reviews. I hope you guys liked this one. Signing off. Peace.